And the cold part about it, man, you're going to see a picture of a bunch of prison made knives. And one of the knives on there, I made. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Back Ah, oh, sh**. Here we go again. Hey, do I know the Crips? No. Uh, well, that that right there probably wouldn't happen in in where I'm at in Alabama. That 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 right there probably in this day and age it probably wouldn't happen. But, um. If I'm if two Crips and four Bloods, yeah, and the blood start whooping them. Okay, so here it go. Um, you getting out the car? You uh -huh. pull up at the corner store. Matter of fact, this anywhere, this anywhere. So you pull up. Um, there's two Crips right here to the left, and to the right is four Bloods. You see the altercation about to happen. Tune, get out. What happens next? I ain't gonna even lie, homie. You know what I'm saying? I'm a crip. You do the math. <laughs> okay. No, walk us through it. Walk us through it. Ain't no, ain't, no, ain't, no, ain't no walking through. I ain't finna see my people get mopped. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just because I, I ain't active don't mean I'm dead. <laughs> okay. Ain't no saying it's gonna get out there and get active, huh? All right. Okay. So, okay. So, no scenario. If because uh -oh, some of these questions was asked from the um the audience is <laughs> so I don't want to even say this. Oh, I forget it. Come on with it. Come on with it. <laughs> okay. Do you believe in the Illuminati? Uh I don't know if I want to if I want to put that name on him, but I believe in his. Uh, I believe that they got powers behind the scene that's pulling strings. Yeah. Okay, so if I guess this what it goes into it. Have you ever heard of the um, the saying "partying with Diddy"? No, but uh, you probably allude to uh, all the all the little, all the little gay activities uh, Diddy be having going on. Yeah, that man. Yeah, that man gay man. Come on. Well, 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 we just gonna say allegedly, but okay. So this is my thing: if somebody, because I don't, it'd it be some weird questions, man. If somebody uh, from that industry said, "Yo, Tune, we want to give you a million dollars, and we just want to get you um, on a bigger platform," all you just gotta do is party with Diddy. It ain't gotta be no gay stuff, but we just want you to go on a cruise with Diddy. It's gonna be a lot of girls there. You just just be there with them. Introduce yourself and just mingle with the people in the industry. You going or not? I'm going. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got no problem. For one, I don't care what another man do with his weenie. That's on him as long as he don't come around me with it. If it ain't nothing but just partying with the feet, because he keep a lot of females around him too. So if he going to give me a meal ticket just to be on the boat and party and kick it, yeah. But when they go to getting freaky, acting like they want to rub stomachs and, 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 and rub on each other's <laughs> hips, I'm out of there. <laughs> okay. Um we we finna um turn this this finna go a different way. Before when you came in, did did you see what I was talking about? No, I didn't. Okay. Well, well we was talking about somebody sent me um a clip in right quick. I'm gonna put it up here right quick so you can check it out. I want you to tell me. From the experience of you being locked up, what will happen to this cat right here? Okay. So basically, um, what happened is this this guy right here, um, hold on. The guy right here, he was married to this girl, she's 16. This girl, uh, mama for five years, stepdaddy. Mm -hmm. The mama go out of town and he goes into her room and violate her, you know, the big R word. He violate her. Then he ended up taking her life. Um, they got they, he got a two million dollar bond right how now. Old is the, how old is that little girl? She's 16. She's 16 and he is fit. 
He is 60. And he raped her? Oh, oh no. The big R word. Oh, okay. Uh, excuse me. My bad. My bad. He uh he molested her. Yep. And and took her life. Oh, they gonna keep they uh they gonna they gonna they gonna uh they gonna they gonna take his when he hit the yard. Now, do you think he gonna hit the yard or you know? I mean, that's the way. If, if he hits the yard, he can go on, he can go and kiss it goodbye. Or but now he might just you know go to PC and never come out. Now, couldn't now is it safe to say that even if you do go to PC and go to the hole for forever, that you still ain't safe there because the guards can get at you, right? My bad, homie. The guards ain't gonna do nothing to him. The guards yeah. ain't gonna do nothing to him. He it would have to be uh it would have to be one of us because he's black, you know what I'm saying. So if he stay in PC, ain't nobody, ain't nobody gonna go back there to PC to get him because there's so many of his kind back there. You know what I'm saying? But he will never, he will never come to population. Then you know what I'm saying? Then it depends on what prison he in, what prison system, what state. Mm. And and Cali, what 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 would happen? He not even one, not not a, not an hour, not one day. He gone. He out of here. He through. Fatality. Damn. Okay. Um, so now we we gonna we gonna switch the gears back right quick. Um, now I, I could be wrong, to him. You did do a lot of time in the Alabama prison system, right? Yeah, twenty three. Twenty three years. Yeah. Tom, you 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 gotta you gotta answer this for me. I, I've been getting a, getting a lot of emails and I said the only person that can answer this is Tune. So for the people that have been asking me this question, Tune is here and he about to give it to y'all. He was there. He know what was going on. Tune, is 90% of the inmates in Alabama homo? You know what, homie? I wouldn't say I wouldn't say 90%. Uh a whole lot of them no. See, you know, Alabama. I just put a. I just dropped a video about about two hours ago on my channel, and uh, the name of the video is "If y'all want to see the horrors that I went through in Alabama prison." Uh, here it is, and I put. I, I just dropped it about two hours ago. It got pictures, commentary, it got everything up, and Alabama prison system is very gay, super duper gay. Um, it's a Alabama is a black state, so the majority of people in the prison system is black. I mean, yeah, the prison system is black. You are uh, on any prison yard, it's going to be seventy five percent black, twenty five percent white. Now, after you do so much time in the Alabama prison system, you will automatically get to the point where you think every white boy is gay because in Alabama prison, every white boy is gay until they prove that they not gay. They gonna have to prove that they not. Because in these brothers' mind out here, they gay. And so they try them on a daily basis. Now, you got white prison gangs like SB, Southern Brotherhood, and AB, Aryan Brotherhood. So, you know, okay, that's them. But for the stragglers that's running around, they got a hard road to go. Now, before these, before these cell phones came out, cell phones came out in Alabama about 2003. Before the cell phones came out, nine and a half times out of ten, if it was an altercation, a killing, and all that, it was going to be some gay stuff. Hmm. Hey, y'all, uh, real quick, real quick, y'all, uh, for the people that don't know who this legend is, this is Cartoon 53 from Avalon. Okay, y'all, we got the big homie in the building. So um, for y'all that don't know, this is his YouTube channel right here. Let me blow it up right quick. You don't mind if I blow up the spot, do you? No, blow it up. Make make it stink. All right. So this, this channel, y'all, listen. Um, by the end of the this is channel, y'all, cartoon 53 right here, y'all. He got 52,300 and something subscribers, over 475 videos over here. Y'all need to go check these videos out. If y'all like my prison stories, my prison stories ain't got nothing 
on his prison story. So y'all make sure y'all go over there. Y'all check that out. That's Cartoon 53. And that's what it is. And we got the man in the building right here. There you go. So um, one second. Still trying to navigate through this. Um, okay, there you go. So um, what you got going on for um, the rest of this year? Oh, man, um, none, you know, spectacular that I can think of. Uh, I'm trying to get into podcasting, but it's kind of hard with me being where I'm at. Um, for me, I'd probably have to be back in Cali to get the kind of podcasting going on that I want. But other than that, man, um, I just, my my, uh, my website just went up tonight. It just, matter of fact, my website just went up today for like, like the people that's trying to get the merch like mm -hmm. trying to get the, t the Foundation Nation T-shirts or the Foundation Nation shirts, all they got to do is go on, uh, go, and uh, that, you know, uh, on um, Foundation Nation shop. That the, it'll take them straight to the website, and they can do what they do there. I just, I just did that today. It been in the making now for about a month and a half. But other than that, well, I'm just really, cru I'm just cruising. Well, what is it called again? Foundation Nation shop. S H O P. Oh, 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 you said Foundation Nation Shop? Yeah. www. Uh, I guess. Your guess good as mine. I don't know about that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> they play they play games right now. Hold on. I, I, they won't let me put it up. But okay, so um you can you can you can put you can pull it up. Right while we on here, because I want to see if you can pull it up. Yeah, let me see. Let me see. Okay, let me. It is. It, it's not connected to your YouTube. Uh, I don't think so. It's just uh, the website is the website. Um, uh, you said foundation, foundation nation shop. Man, I'll probably be spelling it wrong. Can you spell that for me, right quick? F O U N. Okay. F O U N. D A D A T I O N. Huh? Oh, that's nation. It. Oh, nation. Yeah, oh. foundation nation. Okay. N a n a t i o n. Then shop. S a t o p. Yeah, you're gonna have to um put the link um on on your um. On your YouTube page because it's not pulling up right there. It's not pulling up. Okay. So um, let me ask you this: this this going back to the um, your prison days. Have you? Um, no, 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 no. Somebody, I'm not going to ask the question. I'm gonna let um, you read the comment. Okay. If I can find it again. Um. Okay, well, oh, here you go. Ask to him what do he think about Fleece? Okay, uh, that well, Fleece, he, he, I seen his, I seen his video. Um, where is he from? He, what state is he from? Kentucky. He's from Kentucky. Okay, it's a whole lot of Fleece Johnson running around the Alabama system, mm. a whole lot of. Them. I found tune a little before I joined your podcast, Dante Heath. Okay, okay, Vincent, that's what's up. But yeah, Alabama got a Alabama got a whole lot of uh, Fleece Johnson. Matter of fact, if they go to my channel and um down and and find a video called uh uh what was that uh Booty Bob? I think it was Booty Bob. Uh, let's see. They, they find they find a video Booty Bob, and I gave a detailed story on. A, a Fleece Johnson that was in Alabama. Was it how long ago did you do that video? A while ago? Oh, uh, that was last year. Oh man, yeah, that's yeah, that's that got to be way down there. Right, way. right. That's why I said you probably have to type in Cartoon Five Three and then type in uh Booty Bob. It was it probably would show up then. But I I did a video on him. He was a Fleece Johnson and um. He let he let three white boys trick him in the cell and killed him and, and killed him dirt dog dead. They decapitated him, pulled his guts out, 
uh, snatched his eyeballs out, cut his genitals off, and uh, wrote, wrote, wrote stuff on the wall in his blood. I was telling people about that story um, the other day. I couldn't think of who, who, who I heard that story from, but it was you who I heard, heard it from. I was telling people about that. Um, do you see it right here? Uh, what's the title of it? Uh, hold on. Do, do, do you, what? Let me hold on. Just type in, my, when you type me in, just type in Booty Bob. Yep, this one uh, popped up. Notorious Booty Bandit gets killed in prison. That's it. Yeah, that, okay, yeah, that's the title. Notorious Booty Bandit get killed in prison. He was a uh, he was the coldest dude I seen when he came to that gay stuff, man. He didn't play What's with the foundation. Y'all might hear a little knocking, a little beating. I got some um, work going on around the house. <laughs> You at the window. Hey, too. You know what's you know what's funny? Um, when I seen this video, and um, I be doing that too, man. When my girl be coming in the house, and I like hear the the door alarm or something, I'll be like, man, what? <laughs> I seen a oh, dude you, coming in. He looked you like look, this. He looked like you must have didn't see me about ten minutes ago when I turned around. And said, hold on. I, I I see where you turned to mind, but I didn't know what was going on though. Well, what what was going on? My dog, my dog went in the kitchen and was chewing on that on that on that hard dog food, hey. and I heard a strange noise. And I'm like, hold up, let me let me let me let me get my little partner real quick because I don't know what's going on. Because I'm spooky as I don't know what. <laughs> yeah. So um, I got I, I got I got I got uh. Motion lights and cameras and all that around my house. <laughs> Have you ever been to New York? No. You, know, you ever thought about going there? I go because I got you know I got some homies from Avalon out there, and I got to go kick it with them sooner or later. Hmm. Okay. Well, um, we going we going to wrap this up real quick. Um, again, y'all, this is cartoon. 53. Y'all, we got them in the building. Um, do you want to say anything to anybody before we go? Yeah, man. Tell them, man, to go to my go to my channel, Cartoon 53, and check out that video I just dropped a couple of hours ago. Uh, the title of it is uh, If You Want to See the Horrors That I Faced in Alabama Prison. I matter, just dropped it. Matter of fact, you know what? Do you mind if we just play it right here while you on here live and direct? No, let's go, man. Let's do this thing. All right, yo, we got cartoon, y'all. We got we got them in the building. Let's play this video right quick. Now, now I got his permission to do a reaction video, y'all. Wait, okay, okay, there you go, there you go. Let me play it back. All right, it's loading up. Hey, you see what uh? What Stoner Parker say, I do that all the time. I be tell I be able to tell my wife, kick back, I'm live. <laughs> yeah. Cartoon one, right? I represent What's up, Foundation? Man, what's up, you too? Man, it's me, your big partner. Car Hold on, Cartoon. You, you got to do that live and direct, man. You, you got to do that live and direct, man. Hold on. What's that? Hold on. You, you know the, uh, the, uh, the. the clap? <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll let you do it after you get done with the dog. We, we'll let you do it after you get done with the dog. Hold on. Oh, he gone. Shoot, that my little partner right there. Be me and him. Y'all, you want to see it? Okay. Man, when I come on, man, I usually hit that button, man. Once I see it go to the court, I... <laughs> What's up, Foundation? What's up, YouTube? It's me, your big partner, Cartoon 53. Man, and I'm here, man, and y'all know it's story time. Let's get into it, you know. <laughs> All right. 
<laughs> All right, y'all. Let's let, let's get to it. Part two, five, three. Man, I'm back again, man. I'm back again. I'm back again, man, to let y'all into uh my world. <sighs> I had a dude say he get mad when I drink water. I gotta drink water, partner. You know what I'm saying? Let me drink my water, man. Don't be mad at me, man. Come on, y'all. Foundation, yo, y'all love me. But anyway, man, you know, today this video here is about man letting y'all into my world, man. Um like you said, you know, I had a life sentence, man. I did 23 years straight in the Alabama prison system. Um, day for day, day for day. Uh, I was blessed. I went up for parole five times before they released me. Um, I was blessed and lucky to be released. Blessed and lucky to be released. I kind of fell through the cracks on um, when the uh, was it the government was going through a kind of upheaval. Uh, corruption was found, which they, it always is in Alabama, and they was getting rid of one governor and bringing in another one, and the governor that they brought in, as I told y'all the story before, she was uh, trying to, you know, appease everybody she can, so she knew because of the overcrowded in the Alabama prison system that she had to let some folks go, man, to get the, uh, the popular vote. And I, I went up for parole during the time when she was letting people squeeze through the cracks. And, you know what I'm saying, Lord bless me, you know what I'm saying? And I made it out. Um, but now I have a lot of people, you know, I do a lot of stories about prison system, period, you know, California and Alabama. But I do mostly with Alabama because that's where I did the longest time straight. Well, that's where I did the longest time, period. And, you know, I give y'all a lot of, I tell y'all a lot of stories. And, you know, a lot of times people say, oh, but tune, that was funny, man. That was so funny. That was so funny, man. And, you know, they kind of get the humor out of some of the stuff that I show. And I try to put a little humor <laughs> into it because I don't want, you know what I'm saying, to be down and dreary. But on this one here, it's, it's, it's no humor in it. I'm, I'm, going to remove, I'm going to remove the humor from it, y'all. You know, I'm going to show y'all a lot of pictures of where I did my time at. Um, of course, a lot of y'all know, um, you know, a dude had a gun uh, last week in the Alabama prison system. He got a gun in, in, in the maximum security. And uh, eventually, you know what I'm saying, they got it back. Um, they uh, hit him with a tranquilizer dart, from what I heard. And um, they got it back. But lot, most of these pictures are from that prison. I did a lot of time. That's the most maximum security prison. Uh, they call it the end of the road. You know what I'm saying? It's it's, uh, it's horrible. It's horrible, man. Um, it was, It is horrible. It was horrible. And it continued to, it continues to be horrible. Um, I feel sorry for the brothers that still trapped in that H E L L hole. You know what I'm saying? And um, it's just it's, it's just bad. The corruption, the corruption in that prison is out of control. The death rate is out of control. The suicide rate is out of control. You'll see pictures where uh they did national studies on that prison to show the suicide rate, and it it it, it just it just it just don't make no sense, man. It don't make no sense. Um, I told y'all once before the way the Alabama prison system was feeding us. Man, you know, I told you we was eating, we was eating food that come out of a box that said not fit for human consumption. And they were still feeding us to it. And like I said, if you didn't have family members on the street or somebody that was looking out helping you, you were going to turn into a savage because either you was going, either you was going to subject yourself to be subjected to the way that they were treating you in there, feeding you and just treating you, or you was just going to get, you was going to turn straight barbarian. Tom, I've got to ask you a question. Yeah. What do you, because I done seen that too, not fit for human consumption. Then why is it here? What is this, what, what is that? Uh, it, uh, space is space food, <laughs> man. It's food that 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 I believe the FDA has not approved for consumption. It's it's not see. It's like uh, it's the throwaway parts of the cows, the pigs. They done took they done took stuff that they found in somebody's backyard and mooshed it all together, and and found some company that's gonna go underground for them or with them and just make patty. You know, make you know. Uh, they they make the patties out of they make uh like fish patties so called meat patties and um and they ship them out they 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 will ship them out to uh, different prisons in Alabama and they gonna give them to us what can we do? Mm. 
All right, we're about to roll the tape. And start taking, because that's what I did. That's what I did, straight barbarian, because I got the gladiator in me. There was no way in the world I was going to sit there and go through what they was trying to subject me to and not do nothing about it. I mean, you know, when I say do nothing about it, I was not going to do it out, because I, and I'm a gangster, and here it is, you got the puff balls running around, living high on the hole, because they mom and daddy want to take care of them and give them something. No, sir, re Bob. Um, you man, you're gonna see pictures, man. Uh, man, of, of, of a guy, man, that in that in that prison that they sit there and let deteriorate, that they let deteriorate to the point of almost death. I mean, you know what I'm saying? The, the, the news people had to get involved to save this young man's life. You'll see, you'll see the pictures of him. Man, I mean, this, I mean, the prison system in Alabama, man. They, them, the prison system in Alabama, they kicked off in 2016 a nationwide hunger strike. I'm talking about this hunger strike just wasn't in Alabama. It went throughout the whole Alabama prison system and it went throughout different states prison system because, you know, you got them cell phones and people was reaching out, touching each other, man. They was reaching out, touching each other. And so, you know, it was what it was. Um, let me see. Yeah, I'm going to show you pictures of the cell conditions, man. I'm going to show you what the cells look like that they had us living in. Horrible, man. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Um, you'll see pictures. And the cold part about it, man, you're going to see a picture of a bunch of prison-made knives. And one of the knives on there, I made. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Back to um, Can you answer that um, comment right there? Yeah, I just see that. I, I, I was reading it. And uh, that's, you know, typical Alabama prison. See, they'll put you back there in lockup, man, and forget about you. I spoke on it many a time, man. You can beat, bang. The police could care less about you, especially when you go to segregation because they want to do their 12 hours and go home. And so many people kick and bang on the doors that they, you know what I'm saying, they become jaded. They get tired of it. They don't want to hear it. Half the time, dudes kicking and banging because they nicking. They can't get no tobacco in their system and they ain't got nothing better to do. So the police will get tired of coming. And they don't care. They don't care if you live or die. They just gonna do them hours and go home. And so now they will come past your cell to feed you. It get to the only time they will know if you stop come getting up to get your tray. And then you can stop coming up to get your tray, and they still won't even care, man. And they let that brother sit back there, man. Um, man, them bad bugs suck them dry. Hey. Mm. All right, we gonna keep playing it when I was in there. One of the knives on there I had made, you'll see it. It's a real thick one in the middle. It got some yellow it got some yellow paint in the middle of it. That was the one I made, man. Um, Like I say, man, it's pure slavery. They got you working hard as I don't know what, every day, all day. They don't pay you anything. And then they wonder why people in the kitchen stealing and trying to get what they can get because they don't care. When I was in the Cali prison system, man, for any work we did, we got paid for it. You know what I'm saying? They gave you, they gave you, a, they gave you some type of means to uh, support yourself while you was in there, so you wouldn't turn savage. That's one. That's one of the reasons why homosexuality in the Alabama prison system is so high. Man, you got dudes in there with habits of drugs. You got them with habits of cigarettes. You got them with habits of tobacco, uh, coffee. They want to eat, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of them dudes in there, if they not strong, if they not strong, they gonna turn to whatever means they can, you know, to whatever means they can to try to survive. And for a lot of them, that's what they turn to selling themselves, man. To look, so that right there, I told a story about that, and they said it was cat. Would you please explain? To the audience that if you hold on let, let me bring you up by yourself could you please explain to the audience that if a man going there he ain't getting no help from the outside and you know the three meals a day really ain't nothing mm -hmm. them hunger pains to set in and sometimes, and I've seen it more white guys done did this more than blacks. But I'm, I ain't talking right. about, but 
it, it mainly be the white guys, right? Well, right. And they sell themselves. Yep. Yeah. Man, you got to, okay, you got to look, man. Here it is. You got dudes coming in, especially the white, because white, you know, the white guys, they love that dope. They love that dope for some reason. But you got dudes coming in, man, that had raging, raging habits on the street. And, um, oh, man, this is my wife calling me. Okay. You got dudes that come in and got raging dope habits. And, um, here it is. You they get to prison where they can't get it the way they want it. But now dudes in prison got got dope and they watching, they sitting, they looking at it. And now the little bit of money that they might have at the beginning, they spending it on drugs. But now when that money run out, they have it done, you know, they uh they uh have it, they Jones is done kicked in on them again, and they got to have it. You know what I'm saying? Now you got like say you got these predators running around that that's what a lot of them get they dope for, and here it is. They gonna hold it up to him, hey man. You know, uh, you do this and do that, and I do this and do that. And nine times out of ten, they gonna do this and do that. They gonna they gonna do something strange for a little change. They gonna let you tickle for a nickel. I told a story about this this older cat named Freaky Freddy. <laughs> right? This cat named Freaky Freddy that would you know. He was a predator. He had just watch inmates, you know, young inmates come in that ain't got nothing. He see that they hungry, hit them off with some some noodles, some honey buns, you know, and then take them to the cell. And it is what it is. Yeah, that's you know, and when you come in in orientation in the Alabama prison system, they got when they do orientation in Kilby, Kilby is what's known as receiving. They show you videos where they tell you, man, look. Don't take the honey bun. Don't take the snicker. Don't take none from nobody because it's a gateway. It's opening, you know what I'm saying, for you to be, you know what I'm saying, put in that trick bag. But like you say, man, dudes be hungry. And that's why in the video, in my video, you'll see if they not built strong, if they not mentally prepared for what they finna be subjected to, the weak gonna fall to the wayside. The weak gonna, you gonna look up a week later, them weak-minded, Dude's gonna be walking around with them uh, laundry bag skirts on. Let, let me before we go on, we're gonna we're gonna play the video. But before we go on, um, it's a mixed bag that I did a poll on. What is your opinion now? While locked up, if your hustle is cleaning, would you let the people know that that's not a bad thing? No, uh, see a lot of people. Long as you ain't washing no drawers. Mm -hmm. Now you know you can clean all day, but now you got dudes in there that do laundry. Um, you got dudes in there that'll come clean your cell. You got dudes that'll do all that. Ain't nothing gay about them, ain't nothing creeped out, freaked out about them, but it's just a hustle. Now, you draw the line at when it you know when it comes to washing a man's underwear. Now, if a dude if a dude try you like that, hey man, bring you his laundry bag and he got some underwear in there. You need to be having your business because he's trying. You. But yeah, you got dudes in there, man. They um, what they do? They go to the laundry. They buy up all the soap that they can. They buy up all the utensils. They got them five gallon buckets. And um, you won't I, see me. I'd rather have them wash my clothes than me put my clothes into the main prison laundry. Because now here it is. You got your clothes, your underwear, all type of stuff being washed with thousands of different people's stuff. So you got all these different people's dirt coming back in your clothes because you wear white in the Alabama prison system and your clothes going to turn brown and gray because your clothes are being washed with everybody else's and they don't get clean. When they put them in the dryer, they're not doing nothing but drying up everybody's nasty filth. So you take your clothes to the laundry man and the laundry man make, make pretty good money. You know what I'm saying? If it, you know, it is what it is. You see that question? Tune, if you had a choice, you got them 23 years. Would you rather do it in Cali than in Alabama? Uh, uh, if you would have asked me this before when I first caught my case, I'd have told you Cali. Um, but, you know, you got as far as living conditions, the living conditions in Cali is better. But it's less it's less politics in the Alabama prison system. And now not saying Alabama prison system is not dangerous because it's very, very, very dangerous. But um, me, I would have rather did it in Cali around my people. Good answer. 
Let's get to the video. Becoming prison wives. The con and, and the conditions, because they was weak, the conditions pushed them to that. You know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't a gangster, man. Everybody ain't going to get up and go take something. Everybody ain't going to get up and go to war with whoever, whatever, whenever, wherever, however, about whatever to get what they want, to get what they need. Some dudes take the easy way out, man. And um, I'm 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 gonna honestly say, you know what I'm saying? I could sit here and um, you know, uh play the tough role and say that at, out of out of my 23 years in there, that it never got to me, I'd be lying. You know what I'm saying? I tell y'all all the time, Foundation, that I'm transparent. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, was what it was. If it make me look good, cool. If it make me look bad, okay, cool. So what? I'm going to give it to you in the raw, and I'm going to always give you the truth about me. And it was one time while I was in there, man, I don't know what came over me, but it hit me, and uh, despair had set in. You know what I'm saying? At one time, you know, it hit me, and I, and I realized that, man, I probably was never going home again in life. Mm. And um, I'm not going to say I had gave up, but I just got tired. I got tired, man. You know, before before I play the video, what was your state of mind? Like, what was I know we gonna play it, but since we got you on the live, what was your state of mind in that moment? During that time, yeah, I didn't care if I live or die. Well, like, simple as that. What led up to it? Like, like walk me through that day. What, what was going on that day? No, no, it, no, it, it wasn't no day, homie. It wasn't no day. It's a progression of things over a period of time. It, you know, it takes years to build up to that point to, you know what I'm saying? You just see the same thing. Remember, guys, I charge $100 to promote your social media channels. And if you have a business, I can help promote that as well. Email me at the Dante Show 88 at yahoo.com. My email is pinned at the top of the comment section.